Congratulations to her just for reaching this point and getting to the bronze medal match. Unfortunately, that's the end of the line as she falls in the bronze medal match competition to Choi Hyonju of Korea. Time now for the women's gold medal match, and this will pit a Chinese archer against another Korean. This will be Fang Yuting of China on the right, taking on Korea's Kebo Bay, Kibo Bay, excuse me, of Korea. And we saw her earlier today in competition, competing on the women's team for Korea and competing quite well. She's back again. She's warmed up. She knows the conditions. But then again, so does Fang Yu Ting. They both were out here. They've both been out here this morning already during the team rounds. So they they both know the field. They both know already what to expect, how it looks, how the wind goes and everything. So it's going to be, I can't even predict who's going to win this one. And well, Fang Yu Ting has the crowd, the home crowd advantage. But again, it's not a home field advantage because again, it's just 70 meters. You always shoot it as an archer. There you saw what she had to do this week to get here. She ran the gauntlet, beating Heather Cole of the United States, Natalia Nazaritza of Turkey, Natalia Valeva of Italy, and Deepika Kumari of India, and then knocked off Miranda Leek in the semis, six and four. Fang Yuting, seventh in the world, just 23 years old. Meanwhile, Kibo Bay defeated Chang Hai Jin, her teammate, in the quarterfinals in a shootout. Defeated another teammate, Choi Hyunju, who we just saw. That was in the semifinals. She defeated Ms. Choi, seven to three, and survived another shootout in the elimination round earlier this week against China's Zhu Jing. That was nine to six, the decision on the final arrow. So Ki Bo Bei, 24 years old, second in the world, was ranked first in the world just last August. Comes in with 10 World Cup medals under her belt. Six of them gold, but she starts off with a tough shot. I think the wind is definitely picking up there out on the field. And it was kind of a rough shot for Kibo Bay. That's a nine. Better shot for Ms. Fang. Ms. Fang. You can hear the coaches in the background. Offering instruction, and there's a nine just inside the line. So Kibo Bay with a better shot on her second attempt. Right beside her first arrow, that means she's pretty dialed in, and all she has to do is move her sight and get that arrow down to the 10 ring. But definitely a rough start for Kibo Bay. Not saying that she's going to lose, but there's the 10. She needed that for Miss Fang. All she needs is another nine to take the set. But with that 10, she preserved the possibility. Oh, so and with an eight, see, that was important. She got the 10. Yeah, so uh, both archers are tied now at 26 points. Each archer gets one set point, a race to six. First person there wins. So they split the points, as Crispin just said. One point for each of these archers as they tie at 26. So it is 1-1. One, one. After the first set here in Shanghai. Gold medal match. And again, not just medals, but also points on the line here today. World Cup points as you take a look at the flag for the People's Republic of China. Really being blown very briskly in the wind now this morning. It was just gently waving in the breeze, but now you can see the clouds starting to come in a little bit. It looks like the archers are shooting into a tailwind, so the, the wind that they're shooting into is actually going along the path of the arrow. It's going with the arrow, so this has potential of pushing the arrow high, and it's very unpredictable. It's a very tough wind to shoot in. And there, there it is. There's a, a great arrow. example of what you're talking about. So what happens is uh, the arrow doesn't experience as much drag as it usually does, and therefore stays in the air just uh, a little bit. Uh, it, it actually achieves a little bit more altitude in the air. This didn't affect Miss Fang on that shot. Definitely the wind is very, very strong down there. Here we go. Ten there you points. Go. Ten points for Kibo Bay of Korea. 
She was on the women's team that won the Olympic test event in London last fall. Thank you, Ting, in the nine ring. And we are tied so far for this set. Last arrow could determine it. So a neck and neck battle going on right now in the gold medal match and on the line, you think, or inside? That's in, that's, uh, that's definitely a nine. It is on the line, but it is touching the, the fact that it is touching the line indicates that it is in. So seven Tough does shot. not help, and Kibo Bay takes this second set. 27 to 25. So three to one in set points for Kibo Bay. And if she wins this next set, that'll definitely be a, a good thing for her and her advantage. So Feng Yuting has got to forget about that seven that she shot on the final arrow of that second set. Easier said than done, but that's the challenge of this game, the challenge of this sport, is focus on each arrow, forget what's happened in the past and what's coming up in the future. Exactly. So Feng Yuting trying to regroup. She trails three to one right now. They split the first set points and the two set points for that set go to Kibo Bay. And Miss Fang will be shooting first because she is the archer that is trailing. Uh -huh. Ten points. Uh -huh. That's how you bounce back. That's a sign of a great competitor fighting off the disappointment. Uh -huh. Eight points for Keeble Bay is not going to help her against Fang's ten. And of course, if Ms. Fang can win this set, she ties the match up. There's a nine. So she's in good shape right now. And Kibo Bay has to respond as the clock winds down. And she does respond. Very good shot from Kibo Bay. Almost hit the spider in the center of the target. Mm -hmm. So Fang Yuting can put some pressure on her if she shoots just a nine. But a 10 yeah. would win it. Well, that's a nine or a ten. Too close to call from where we are. That's why we have a nine asterisk for Fang's last arrow, and that has to be taken, taken look at a little bit closer. But that's definitely a ten. No question about that. And what happens here is because that there is an arrow that's either a nine or a ten, that could determine whether Fang Yuting won that set or if they tied on the set. If it's a nine, they tied, in which case they were tied in the match. No, if, uh, oh, if uh, they tied in the set, then Kibo Bay got the one point and Miss Fang gets one point as well, which brings it 4 2. However, if Miss Fang won the set, so if that nine is a 10, then she gets to two set points and then the set goes to 3 3. 3 3. Yeah. So they're very carefully examining the target right now. And that was a judge with a magnifying glass, and we shall be getting updated scores very shortly. So some anxious moments right here for both of these archers in the women's gold medal match. Recurve competition at the 2012 Archery World Cup stage number one in Shanghai. So unofficially, it's still showing a total of four set points. The judges and the archers agents are still at the target confirming the score. But I just saw one of the Korean coaches give her a fist pump from downrange, which possibly means that Fang's arrow was out. And we can see there the hole right in the middle of the screen. It looks like it's touching the line, but now you can't tell because they've pulled the arrow. But from this official scoring at the bottom of your screen, Kiwo Bay officially leads four set points to two. So they split the set points, they tie, in that third set. And it is four to two. And Fang Yuting starting out with an eight. She still has a chance. She's still not out of this. And Kibo Bay, well, solid with that shot. For Kibo Bay. Yeah. She has kind of a faster shot than most archers, but it seems to work really well for her. So it's interesting to see how that plays out in this win. Ten for Miss Fang. But like I was saying for Miss Kibo Bay, if you watch her, she has a fairly quick shot. That's one 1,000, two 1,000, and it's gone. There you go. There you go. 
and it's a nine. The advantage with holding for a shorter time in the wind is you don't have a lot of time for the wind to affect you while you are trying to aim, while you're trying to execute your shot. Uh -huh. Maintain your balance, maintain your stance, do all the correct fundamental things that you've been taught. Exactly. So if Kibo Bay shoots a 10 on this shot, she wins the set. 10 to win, 9 to tie, 10, she wins. Under pressure coming through, Kibo Bay puts it away with a great shot there, her third arrow of that set. And as Crispin Duena said, she had to have that 10 to win it. She came up with the shot that she needed. And for Feng Yu Ting, a very good performance. I'm sure she'll be thinking back about that seven that she scored in the second set with her third arrow. Really just have that one shot to look back on with the regret. But she was up against a very, very tough, very good competitor. And Kibo Bay and Kibo Bay wins the match by the score of six to two. So not a lot of drama in these first two matches. <laughs> Some commanding performances. Mm -hmm. And the the uh, venue, the wind, the conditions, everything.